hey, the Colleen, the try to show us that like uh, I said that like we are enterprise and very easy to develop mm -hmm. and this thing. So can you show us the how easily you know create the kind of the forms? Okay, uh, I think you guys can see uh, you know, can see the screen. So uh, this is a very common uh, like a PDF scan copy. I think a lot of uh, companies uh, are still probably at this stage. Um, so if you so you, you'll be wondering like how can you work on this probably on your mobile or your tablets immediately. Um, so for us, as long as you have the file template already, probably something like that in Word, which I have here, all you need to do is just control all copy. Uh, we have our designer tool, which I've already uh, opened up. Um, generally, we'll create three dummy band, and then we can just copy and paste the format in. Um, Let's see, maybe here I, I want to put uh, my company logo. All right. Let's say for here. And then maybe I need to get some input components from uh, the user. Pardon my designing. <laughs> and last but not least, maybe I need to get them to sign. Okay, so something like that, I can easily create uh, a doc. So it looks like, and you know, just copy paste the Excel and Word, the PDF. Uh, is is it the, like, and you know, easily you can just copy and paste? What about like, and you know, pure kind of the PDF? The, can they use the like, you know, existing PDF file? Possible. Please send them to me, and I'll show you. <laughs> yeah. So existing, I don't know how many forms you have in banks, but uh, as long as you need to put the kind of component, you know, link it with a backend system, then the, you can easily, you know, customize that that form. Okay. Okay. So. And what's the next? So this is the first part. We have our designer, which is used to create or maintain or uh, do maintenance to the form. Second part, we have a, a, a server component where we can actually upload this form uh, so that it will be usable uh, on the web. So for this, let me just log into my demo server. Okay. So something like that. Probably this is what I just created. I can just drag and drop in. And I upload. And yep, now this template is usable. Looks like a very, you know, very easy, but then, uh, well, it is. But like, and you know, the, is, is that like a, it, it means like an you know, end user, the banks, the insurance guys, end user guys, like I can uh, edit their own kind of the new revised kind of statement rather than ask the IT guys every single time. Correct. My right is for the end customers or the end users. You maintain your own forms, you upload your own forms, and straight away they'll be usable. So probably uh, I can show you. Uh, this is our, our, our demo system. Um, let me just refresh to probably get the latest template out. So what I just created, FinTech Conference, this is it. Uh, this is obviously on the web. Uh, you can straight away access it. And it's also possible for me to send it out. Send to me? Yep. OK, can you? Yeah. So which means that you can, the, the, let's say that I'm the, one of the kind of the user who access the company website. Mm -hmm. And then I can fill it up to all the kind of forms. Then the, like a company website can send that form to my hand phone to, to sign it. Okay, let me let me try to do that. Okay. 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 Sounds uh, I got received. Okay, I got an email. And open it. I don't know. You cannot. I know you cannot see the my things, but then you know exactly same forms that you know pop up here. Let me just feed up the things. Well, we, we can wait for Mickey to fill up. Uh, I mean, we won't be able to show his screen, but once it fill up and once the data is in, I can actually show it to you what he has filled. Yeah. Okay, I feed up the Mickey as well as uh, like a. So same thing as you can see here in the uh, completed list, like we have a status no, and then uh, the, the files are not inside yet. So it means that the user has not accessed it. So basically, if you need to send to somebody and you need a response, that's also possible for you to know when the response is given. OK, I submit it. OK. So let me refresh. OK, there you have it, received by Mickey Park. This is what you probably submitted. Okay. 
So okay. this is uh, one of the example that it doesn't matter where I'm at, I am, the, the, in Korea, Singapore, the UK, as long as I access the company website, fill up the, all the form, then company send me the email as well as SMS, OTP through the OTP, whatever. Definitely. I mean, then I can, I can fill it up and submit. Correct. So some of the, uh, I think, customers that we met, right, they, they probably value the email address as well as the handphone number together with uh, this uh, creation of the document. So this way you can actually get all these things in place. That's, that's really great one. Okay. Okay. And probably just, this is the base format that uh, I think all documents are in, so it's an XML format. So it doesn't matter whatever is being captured, we will, it's easily convertible or possible to uh, the existing systems that you have. So the, how do you connect with the backend system? We can connect directly, or we can you know, use any kind of integration that uh, We'll we support the, like uh, web services as well, right? Yes, correct. Okay. So, okay. all right. Can you? Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, can we go back to slide? Sure. So the corporate banking guys or the online insurance guys and uh, claim things. So again, the, like a user don't need to print out, the download and print out and submit and put in the envelope and get back to you guys. Then you open it, don't it. Right. As long as you got a kind of the link, I mean, you know, customer, then the, the, you can send this form and they got a signatures and the pictures. You didn't share us the pictures, but later on they show us the, how you can take a picture as well. 